news you can use. Welcome to The Scoop. Uh, tonight we're going to be talking about the HPV vaccine. I'm Louise Thompson from Tampa Bay Community Network, and with me tonight is Margaret Ewan from the State of Florida Department of Health. Welcome, Margaret. I'm glad you could be with us. Uh, first of all, HPV, we've certainly seen the commercials. I think there's been a million of them. Uh, what does HPV stand for? The human papillomavirus. Okay, so we're just going to call it HPV, HPV from this night. What is that virus? Well, it's a virus that uh, you can get. It's common uh, amongst sexual uh, activity um, that there are about 40 types of the HPV um, virus, and about 20 million people in the United States are affected. Um, we have about 6.2 million more that can get the infected with the HP virus each year. Is so that just because if 20 million have it, they will pass it on? Is that what you mean? Well, or? It, it, is a, it is a virus, uh, and it can be passed on from uh, sexual activity. It has to be um, skin to skin. I know that there's oh. about 40 um, types of it, and there's about 20 million people in the United States that have it, and assuming that about 6.2 million more will also be infected each year. What are the symptoms of it? There are no symptoms, unfortunately. It, it, the symptoms um, that people may not even know that they have it unless um, they've actually gotten a, a, a test. Uh, really, there's, there's no symptoms. But it can cause um, things like uh, warts, genital warts. Uh, later on can go into cervical cancer and that's but why you could I be think. symptom free and you can be something like free. that happened yes uh, you can you may not have um, any symptoms of it on on unless you had the, the genital warts uh, that you might experience that it, it can also um, just go away on its own it you can. can you can get it, but uh, in some cases that it goes away on its own. There's no treatment, as you know. Viruses usually either they go away on their own, or there's no treatment per se for HPV. Do doctors um, perform tests to see if you have the virus? For example, if you're having a gynecological exam, do they check for it? Yes. Is it, uh, they do that's, at that time? That's something that, that you would want, women should ask the doctors when they're getting a, a pap smear, that yes, they do want to get checked for HPV. Do men get HPV too? Men get HPV, they're unsymptomatic. Um, they can pass it on to women. Well, can but they get no, cancer too? There, there's no uh, evidence that they actually get because it's a cervical cancer, which the, it's in the women. So, the men can pass it on, but the, no. And so, there's no effect for them to have it. I mean, right? Really? really? At, that, yes, that, that anybody that, knows that about? That we know of. Yes. Okay. All right. So, um, HPV, since it does cause cervical cancer. It's one of a number of causes of one, cervical yes, cancers, right? Yes, it, it is. It's the most common, though. Um, uh, there's about, uh, let's say, um, there's about 70 percent of, of these uh, human papilloma virus uh, people who have that that go on to have cervical cancer, 70 percent of, of women who, who have that virus. It, so, not only can it not be cured, it can, can it be stopped? If you, if you recognize that you have it, is there some way of uh, treatment that um, abates it so that it doesn't... Uh, well, the, the treatments uh, would be the things that it causes, like genital warts. Um, oh, so you would treat, treat the, the symptoms? The, yes. But okay, but if it's gone into cervical cancer at that point... It's, you're treating the cervical cancer. Okay. Um, all right, so, um, and so for this reason, we now have a vaccine, a vaccine I guess. Vaccine, the first cancer vaccine, cancer prevention vaccine. 
Oh, I didn't even think about that. The mm -hmm. first of all types of cancers, mm -hmm. this is that the one there is that a vaccine that can prevent this type of cancer. And um, we've seen a lot of advertisements for the drugs that are uh, available. Uh, and um, the, um, this, va yeah, tell me about how this vaccine works. Um, it prevents? It prevents uh, cervical cancer. It, it prevents the HPV. It doesn't prevent cervical cancer. It doesn't cancer. prevent, well, it prevents HPV that leads to cervical cancer. So the idea is getting it into women before they become sexually active, before they can get infected with that virus. And they're talking about um, especially uh, going after immunizing yeah. young girls. Yes. It's licensed for the age from 9 to 26. Um, so, and that's because that's where they tested the, the, um, the vaccine. And looking at the younger age because you want to get them before they become sexually active. So they're talking about nine years old. Nine years old, as low as nine years old can get this vaccine. What are the repercussions of, t I mean, isn't there always, there's always an, an adverse possibility when you take any kind of medication or vaccine, right? Yes. But what are the uh, adverse things about this? Most vaccines, um, with the studies that have, have uh, taken place, it's, it's a fairly safe vaccine. Um, you can, the side effects of, of the vaccine and the sore, soreness around the injection site, um, a little redness, may have some nausea, could have some, fe some fever as well. Generally, most people do well without any symptoms, um, but we do have some that have, which goes away after a while, does not really last a long time. Now, this has been on the market about a year? It's been on the market a little over a year, yes. How many people have been, do you know? Vaccinated, I don't have those numbers um, to say how many across the country. Uh, we, we can tell you those that are in our Florida uh, shot system, which um, anybody who uses Florida shots to re report uh, vaccines or to um, put that data in the system, we can, we can see those. But there are a lot of private doctors that uh, provide it and they don't. And you wouldn't be keeping a record. And, yes. We'll learn a little bit more about that in just a minute and we'll be back. Welcome back. Uh, you're watching The Scoop. I'm Louise Thompson from Tampa Bay Community Network. And with me is Margaret Ewan from the Florida uh, Department of Health. And we're talking about HPV, the new vaccine, sort of new. It's only been out about a year. Um, and uh, the, the health department is encouraging people to get this. Is that correct? Yeah. It's available. Um, it's not required. Mm -hmm. And we do, if parents ask for it, and uh, older than, you know, those independent that come in and ask for it, it's not one that we push because we want them to want it. We will educate them about the vaccine, and they have to make that choice if they want it for their daughters. Um, is there, I, I think I had read that there was a push <coughs> Uh, possibly by the pharmaceutical companies to have it be required. Is there uh, any evidence that that's going to happen? Uh, in, in the state of Florida, it's not gone that way. I know there are some states that have made it required. Oh, they have? But in the state of Florida, it is not a required vaccine. Um, who, oh, so, so every state determines what vaccine should be required? They usually um, do the recommendations and they will put certain vaccines on the vaccine for children, the federal uh, vaccine for children program, which offers it uh, free to those that are eligible. So that is, when it comes out, CDC makes that recommendation that it's there, but it's, the states will then legislatively say what vaccines they will make mandatory for school entry. You mentioned a program before we took the break uh, called a hot shot, or was it? Uh, the, the, the vaccine for children? Yeah, uh, or a shot, you, you knew, 
Oh, the, said I could know when there are. Oh, uh, we're certain, talking about the Florida shots. It's Florida the registry. Shots, is that the name it's of a it? registry okay. for um, keeping uh, vaccine. Yes, in the state of Florida. That is only with uh, a certain population of people. No, who, is that people who, and, who can get the shots for free? No, any any provider that gives vaccines can register and get online with the, the it's a free service that they can just record uh, the shots that they give and keep up a person's immunization records in the system. The state keeps that record? It's a, it's a Florida um, registry, Florida State Registry, private and public um, providers can register and use it. Within the state of Florida, all of our public health um, departments uh, across every county is using it. We put all vaccines and record them all in there. So a private provider can actually go on Florida Shots and see a record of a child's record or an owl. Oh, so that, that if matter. a parent forgot so if or, it forgot matter, or, or somebody's injured or something. Or they move from one provider to the next, they, all they can do is go in on the Florida Shots and find those records. And uh, to access that, it's a private matter, though, right? I to mean, access you it, you just, they just have to register um, with the state, and it has to be, uh, they have to be a provider. Uh, do you, do you see provider. any downside to this HPV? I, I did read a, a, a report, I, I think it was the New York Times, oh, maybe a week or so ago, where there was an expression of concern because it hasn't been out long enough. And I think for every vaccine, that there's that concern. Anytime you have a new vaccine, they feel that we don't have it out there long enough with enough people having had it to see what the effects of it. But from the studies that they did before this vaccine was approved, um, they studied a lot of people uh, with this vaccine before the FDA approved it. So they have not seen any uh, side effects. They've, what they've seen is the benefit for preventing a cervical cancer that you can get from HPV. So how long, how long do, you, do they have to test something like this before it becomes a vaccine? Do you know? Uh, it, I think it depends on um, the it's product and what, how long they're studying and what the results they're getting. Okay. Um, because see you don't have 10 years or you 20 years. You don't have years. 10 years, right. So you know, I, I think uh, some of us recognize that many years after a particular uh, drug was given, like you always, I always think of DES because yes, I did a big... And, and a lot of people go back to yeah, that and then they had a paper to take on that the, years ago. Took it off the market. Right. And then they found out that it actually was working the opposite way that, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. that people thought. Well, uh, since, since DES, since those times, there's a lot, a lot of information. We have the VAERS system. I mean, so there, it's a reporting system. Anybody that receives the vaccine that has any kind of effects from it, it's reported into the VAERS. And they can actually, they're monitoring that to see if there are new symptoms, there are new things that come up so that they can make recommendation or stop it for that matter. And that whatever has been reported in the news has not been anything um, unusual to say that right. one, it's just a particular worry. vaccine. A worry. Just a yes, worry. and right. people want to wait and see how long before they, they still have that in the back of their mind. They want to be sure that this is something that wouldn't have some kind of effect later down the road. Now, one of the reasons I understand that um, the state and others are, are supportive of the vaccine is it's synthetic. It's not a lot of the vaccines that we are familiar with were mm -hmm. established through uh, uh, some kind of live. Um, yes, and this is not a live vaccine, right? You're correct. This is not a live virus vaccine. And this is the first time for that too, or no? No, no, no. We have many, many of our vaccines are, are not live vaccines. There are just a few that are live vaccines. Um, it, and is the state of Florida committed to trying to get as many people? Um, as many young people vaccinated? Yeah, it's, it's available to, uh, under the, the Vaccine for Children program, which is a federal um, program that any, anybody that qualifies, uh, that means you, your insurance doesn't cover the vaccine, or you're a, a Native American, or you're on Medicaid, you automatically qualify. And any child 
from 9 to 18 can actually get that vaccine free of charge. Without having insurance or paying if, if for we, it. Exactly. So how would they do that? They would go to their local uh, department of health? They can go to the health department or their private doctors that also carry the, the vaccine for children. And uh, they'll vaccines. make it available for and them. And they make and it they available have for to them. Make, okay. And they wouldn't have. The, the right. cost of the vaccine can be costly to, um, you know, people that, to fork out. $129 per shot. Is and that it's right? It's a series of, of three shots, yes. My goodness. So it is. All right, pretty well, I'll expensive. find out more about that in, uh, in just a minute. We're going to take a short break. Um, we'll, be, we'll be back. Welcome back to The Scoop. I'm Louise Thompson with Tampa Bay Community Network. And with me is Margaret Ewan from the Florida Department of Health. And we're talking about the HPV vaccine. Um, Margaret, you said that there are 40 different types of HPV. Yes. Now, the vaccine doesn't cover all 40 of them. No. Which, uh, the vaccine covers four types of the HPV virus, and oh. it's the, the, the more common ones that will lead to um, cervical cancer or genital warts that the vaccine actually covers. So. Is there a chance that you could still get cervical cancer, though, given that even though you took the uh, Well, I'm, I'm sure there's, there's nothing that's 100% proof, but what No, no have, that, uh, I meant was, is that what that means? As, yeah, the, the vaccine actually protects against that cervical cancer because they know now that HPV is the cause for the uh, cervical cancer. Okay, so the four types? Um, the, the four types, the vaccine covers like two types. Uh, it covers... Um, 70% of the cervical cancer. And then the other two types uh, covers 90% um, of the genital warts. Okay. So that tells you how good the vaccine is. And part of the reason why they want to give it to girls before they even get any infection where they can be in contact with the virus at all, that means before they become sexually active before their first sexual contact, you can actually protect them 100% from this uh, virus if they get it before that. Now, we do say that even if a person has become sexually active, it's still good to go ahead and get the vaccine because you don't know which types of the HPV virus they may have been in contact with, and it can still give them some protection. Uh, especially if they were they didn't become uh, uh, um, exposed to those that, to those that, those really four that you're exactly. talking about. Exactly. And those four are the most prevalent are in the leading most prevalent to cervical cancer. Correct. How does one avoid the whole, besides abstinence, is, uh, do condoms protect one against this kind of virus? Or Well, condoms is a, is a barrier, and condoms uh, can... Um, provide some protection, but we know how condoms are not 100%. They can right. break, they can leak. So yeah, the, the, the best that they have out there is to really get, like you say, abstinence, but getting the vaccine. And before really early, getting the vaccine early. Um, now I saw that it, uh, something like uh, well you just you mentioned 129 dollars per shot yes and how many and shots that's at do the you health need? department so it's a series of three shots okay so you're talking 390 mm -hmm. 390 dollars mm -hmm. and that's the low cost because at a private doctor um, it's going to cost you more. Can you, get, um, you in other words you can get the shots at the health department yes we, we um, offer it even though you're not accessing them as someone who fits one of the criteria that you mentioned, that they're, they don't have insurance, they can go there and get it anyway, yes. right? Mm -hmm. okay. and, and if they're over, if they're 19 and, and 19 through 26, they can come to the health department and pay Rather for it. Rather than pay their own doctor. Yes. This is not, um, vaccines, are they being picked up by insurance regularly, or do you this know that? This vaccine, when it first came out, wasn't covered under the insurance, but more, more insurance uh, companies are actually picking it up. So we had some folks that started with us mm -hmm. before their insurance kicked in, and they finished up later with their um, private doctor because the insurance was then covering it. 
Do you have to have a space between these three yes. times that you can, yes. you go to take the there, immunization? The way the way the the series goes is uh, day one. The next uh, dose will be um, two months from the first, and then the third one will be six months from the first. But if they miss, they can still catch up. It's you don't have to repeat it. If you miss and didn't come back to get it uh, in two months or get it by, you, you can still catch up to what you miss and get, get those three doses in. Do they, um, do they foresee anything like we're seeing um, recently with uh, the, ha the lasting effects of particular vaccines where maybe you'd have to come back really? in? Or, are we, are we yeah, talking about take a booster shot. You're, or you're talking about something like pertussis where we didn't see pertussis which is right. the whooping cough. I just saw one uh, the other day where uh, I think it was one of the measles or mumps. Oh, or measles. Something. Measles oh, was that, is was now it? another one that we thought we had eradicated in the, the United States. And now we saw a, a rash of measles across the country. And now, part of this is because we're having more and more people neglecting, uh, choosing not to give their children vaccines. So we're having unvaccinated children out there because they have either religious or philosophical reasons why they don't want to go there. But that is going to cause more people in the community not to be protected. And that means, any, that means we're going to see more of these uh, vaccine preventable diseases. So you're better off having at least taken some of the vaccines is what you're saying anyway. Yeah, right. you're better off getting the vaccine. Okay. Because you're, you're going to increase uh, those things that we used to see before vaccines were around. Um, what's, what do you think lies ahead with uh, HPV? Well, what uh, they're working on now is looking at the older women beyond the 26. And the other is uh, looking at males, how they can actually get. That's all, what a lot of people are saying. If, if the women can get it from the male, shouldn't we be vaccinated in the male? Well, they never studied the male yet. They needed to get this first study done and get those that are uh, at risk uh, to get cervical cancer protected. And now they're doing studies to look at the older women and then the males. So we should be hearing uh, more about that coming up. Then, or, or this type of vaccines only working on younger kids. Is that and and it, that's, that's not really the case. It's because that's who they studied. They wanted to study, you know, younger women who would not have been, you know, gotten the, vac the virus yet and okay. get that vaccine out there. So now they're We're doing running out of time here. Well, I hope everyone checks out the websites we'll have listed, and we'll see you next time. Thank you for joining us. News you can use. The people of this town almost built these kids the community center, but almost was as far as they got.